bow and donut a bit about that one but I really do think that that can be a way to really really help you get the items that you're looking for because I know that it has certainly worked with me. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me. So today we're going to talk all things Louis Vuitton. I get so many messages from you guys about Louis Vuitton and Louis Vuitton items and how do you get Louis Vuitton items and I'm trying really hard but I can't get it on the website. It's always sold out. How did you get this? How did you get that? How do you go about doing this? So I thought what I would do today would be make a video on my tips for shopping Louis Vuitton, hard to find pieces, tips to make those relationships, tips to be able to get the pieces that you're looking for from Louis Vuitton and then if you're looking for something in the future you can always come back if you're getting stuck and use this video almost as a kind of reference for that and I hope that that will be helpful for you guys because I know I get so many questions about this and having been there it can be so 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 frustrating whenever you're trying to get that piece and you just can't because you maybe don't have the connections and then you start looking at the reseller prices and it just spirals from there so hopefully this will be helpful and I'm going to start with shopping Louis Vuitton if you don't live in a city that has a Louis Vuitton boutique if you live in a big city or a city that has a local boutique it can be easier to make those relationships to be able to get the pieces that you're looking for if you don't live in one of those cities it can be that much harder and that is I don't live in Dublin city centre and Dublin is our, our only store in Ireland so it can be although I'm in Dublin quite a bit um, but it would be easier if there was a store around the corner so I would used to have not as much now and I'll explain that in the video but I used to rely on the website quite a lot so I'm going to start with tips for shopping Louis Vuitton on the website and then we'll go from there. All in all, I have 10 tips for trying to get hard to find pieces from Louis Vuitton. And starting with the website, tip number one has got to be that you've got to stock the website. And I know that sounds obvious, but it, I think it needs to be said. Some of the people that would be messaging me and I, I would email them back or message them back, well, have you been on the website? Have you been stocking them? Well, I did check it. Like I checked it once a week or I checked it every day. You need to be on that website multiple times a day if you're looking for one of the very hard to find sought after items. Now I know that sounds stalkerish and I know that sounds like a complete and utter waste of time to a non-crazy person and I know that sounds like it's absolutely over the top and unnecessary and extreme. But if you're looking for one of the hard to find Louis Vuitton pieces that very rarely could become available or one of the new releases, you need to be on the website all the time. You need to be stalking it. I got really lucky whenever my youngest son was still up during the night feeding or teething and I got really lucky at three and four o'clock in the morning. Now, this is how crazy I would be. I would be getting up to feed him and I would lift my phone knowing that I was going to check the Louis Vuitton website while I was, you know, feeding and I would check the website at those crazy times in the morning and there would be items available that you would never get and I would click them. I'll go through the tips how to do that quickly check out and then when you checked again in the morning they weren't there so it does work so if you have any reason to be up at crazy hours or you don't have or you have trouble sleeping or anything it's worth just checking the website at those crazy hours but the first one has got to be that you really need to stock the website number two when you're on the website you need to make an account you can either go through Louis Vuitton's website as a guest and just look through all of the items and then if you want to buy something, if something that you see that you're looking for is available and you're smacking the add to bag button and trying to get it before it goes off because some of these things on the Louis Vuitton website can come on for seconds and then they're gone again and you can't... I was trying to get the Palm Springs Mini. I had been stocking it. It became available. I had it in my basket and before I could complete the checkout it was gone and I actually couldn't buy it. So that's where these tips have come from. It's learning from my mistakes but that just shows that you need to be able to move very quickly when you're on this website. So create an account. If you're looking as a guest and you see that item that you've been waiting for and you add it into your bag and you have to check out as a guest, you have to input all of your information and just because it's already in your bag doesn't mean the site won't sell it. It needs to be sold before the site won't sell it. So you can have sitting there thinking like I was this is great get in my bag and the next minute it's gone so create an account and keep your account number tip number three keep your account logged into the website obviously not if you're on a shared computer but if you have a computer or access to a device that is only yours and you know is safe and secure keep your account details logged in to the website so as anytime you click on and see that item that you want you're already logged in there and then your checkout process is going to be that much quicker number four make a wish list. So whenever you're going through the Louis Vuitton website and torturing yourself, as we all do, 
Go through all of the items that you would love to have, the items that are hard to get, the items that you really want, that they're on your wish list, and make a wish list. There is a part on the Louis Vuitton website whenever you're looking at an item, where down below where it says add to bag, you can actually put a wish list and it's a heart, and you hit that button and it adds it to your wish list. The reason I say to do this is one of the tips for the website shopping, is when you then go back on to Louis Vuitton, when you're stocking it and you go into your account because it's already logged in, you just hit your wish list button and you're, all of the items that you have saved are going to come up on a list. And rather than you searching through the site to try and find the item that you're looking for, they're all going to be sitting waiting on you there. And you can just tap on each of those items as you go down your wish list and it will tell you if it's available or, or not. And if it's available, you can then ultimately just quick into the add to bag and go into checkout to buy it. And the wish list just makes that system and makes that process of stocking the website and checking out on the website that much quicker and the navigation of the website just cuts it out whenever you're looking for pieces that can really be hot and hard to find. Number five, use PayPal. <laughs> use PayPal. The one I was telling you about earlier, the Pam Springs Mini, I was I didn't have my PayPal account linked to it. So I was putting all my card details in and going through thinking this is wonderful and then it was gone. Had I had my PayPal account linked into my purchases whereas I could just check out via PayPal it's so much quicker it is so much quicker than putting in your card details and your name and everything hit the PayPal button check out that way I know that some people will think and I could hear my husband's voice if he heard me saying this like you're talking about seconds of a difference there but if these are really hard to find hot items in Louis Vuitton those seconds really can make a difference so link that PayPal and get checked out of there quickly with that bag safely in your possession number six crazy person tip number six Keep the Louis Vuitton browser open on your phone. So whenever I go into my phone, I have an iPhone, I don't know how to use any of the other phones, but I'm sure there's ones that are similar, and you click into the internet icon, you can keep different pages open. So I always keep the Louis Vuitton website page open if I'm looking for a hard to find piece. Meaning that if I just have a few seconds with my phone in my hand or wherever I am or I get time that I wasn't expecting to get, I can quickly just click onto my phone, click down through my wish list, see if any of them have become available. And if they haven't, fair enough. But if they have, I can then jump on them and get them. Now, I only do this when there are specific items that I am stocking. Otherwise, I would be completely and utterly bankrupt if I was constantly on the website looking for things that I just like and think are pretty. But for those items that you're really, really hard to find trying to get, I, I do recommend this. Number seven, and we're moving off the website here. We're moving on to client services. So on the website, kind of on the website, but on the website, there is a number for your region for client services. And what you can do is ring them up. I don't know how I didn't know this for so long. It's almost like it was a kept secret as to how to get the hard to find Louis Vuitton. And I wish I'd known it a lot earlier because it would have saved me reseller fees and it would save me missing out on things. But use the client services number. Once you start to use it, if there's a specific piece that you're looking for, say for example, you're trying to get the mini pochette or something that's just come out, you phone up client services, tell them that's what you're interested in. See if you can get added to the waiting list. See if you can pre-order. Some of the items they'll tell you that you can't because they're so hard to find and sought after, but a lot of the items that I expected they wouldn't, I actually could. And that's how I got my Pochette Matisse. That's how I got my Agenda GM. That's how I got, there was something else that I got that way, that way as well. I just can't recall what it is, but that worked. And what that also then does, and this is tip number eight, which I think is a fabulous, fabulous, fabulous tip. And I wish I'd known this a while long, a while ago, is try to then make a relationship with the client advisor and client services. So if you're using the client services and phoning them up and getting registered, they will start to say to you things like, oh, well, I could give you a call when this comes in, or would you be interested in maybe looking at this, or would you be interested in me looking after you? And what happened for me, because I didn't know this, is that whenever I was looking for certain items, it was actually whenever I was trying to buy my best friend the passport cover for his birthday, I think, and I had phoned up client services. The client advisor that I now use in client services, religiously, he is a gem. He is so good. He has really helped me out with certain, certain items. He will really go out of his way to try and help you. But he then said to me, I see that you shop with Louis Vuitton quite a lot. Would it be assistance to you if I could be your client advisor? And I was a bit, is this for real or is this is this a scam or what is this? But this actually is how they work in client services. A bit like how you form your relationship with a sales advisor in the store, you can do the same with a client advisor on the phone. So he becomes almost like your mini account manager and he looks after you or she has maybe, but mine happens to be a man. And he then will contact you with new releases. He sends you the pre-orders. 
He sends you items to see if you want to pre-order. Whenever you're looking for hard to find pieces, he will go out of his way to try and find them for you. And he'll put in that effort. And when you have that relationship with him, it's much, much easier. I have now purchased so much through my client advisor from Client Services. He was able, this um, cap you scenes that's behind me. Don't worry, the lid's on the pen. Uh, <laughs> he was able to track that down for me. I also have a fabulous sales associate in Dublin, but she couldn't get it. He was able to track that down. That apparently was the last one in Europe and he told me it came from Monaco. And he told me whenever we finally got that bag that it had taken him three months of searching and of making inquiries to get that bag only because I had built up that relationship with him on client services. I've never met this man. He is on the end of the phone, but being able to build up that relationship with him being my personal client advisor with Louis Vuitton has just made things so, so much easier. He is so brilliant. There was a friend of mine on Instagram was trying to get the desk agenda. I couldn't get it. He was able to get it for me to give to my friend. It's just, it, I absolutely recommend that you try and do that. And I know I went on a bit about that one, but I really do think that that can be a way to really, really help you get the items that you're looking for, because I know that it has certainly worked with me and he has helped me get some fabulous things. Number nine, and this is if you are living in a city where you have a Louis Vuitton boutique, and it is to call in. Call in and make a relationship with a sales advisor. So whenever you go into Louis Vuitton, they will normally allocate you somebody to work with, somebody to look after you. Introduce yourself whenever you walk in, get chatting to them. I personally am a complete and utter introvert. I am terrible in big crowds of people that I don't know, but I'm fine one-on-one. -on -one. So if I got somebody to speak to me one-on-one, -on -one, I find it quite easy to chat to them and make a relationship and be friendly with them. I also worked in retail for years. So I'm used to retail and I'm used to that customer services and I know how I liked to be spoken to when I worked in retail and I know how I didn't like to be spoken to. And to be honest with you, I generally think a lot of it comes down to manners and common decency. Always remember that a sales associate is a person. They're not just a sales associate, they're a person and treat them like you would want to be treated. And that can go a long way to making a relationship with that person. I have a fabulous sales associate in Dublin that when I first met, I had my youngest in the pram. We'd been queuing outside to get in, which took quite a while. By that point, he was starving and screaming. I'd never met my sales associate before and she still had the patience of a saint with me, even though my son was going crazy in the pram, crying to get fed, bad mummy was looking at the Louis Vuitton bags and in the end I had to say to her like I have to go I'm sorry I need to go and feed my son and I didn't purchase anything from her that day at all. She still gave me her details, we had chatted, we'd bonded, we'd got on really well. She still gave me her details even though I didn't make a purchase from her and she still said to me if there's ever anything you need just reach out. I took her details and then I was thinking about things I'd been looking with her and because she was so nice to me whenever I had my child in the, in the pram screaming and because we got on so well, I did reach out back to her and I, I split a lot of my purchases between my SA in Dublin and my, S, uh, my client advisor on the um, phone because I don't really know, to be honest, how their commission works but I want to make sure that I try and be fair because they both look after me so, so well. So try and make that relationship with your SA. Try and work with one person. Whatever you're buying, even if it's small little bits, however the commission works and however it works for them with their sales, it helps, I'm sure, if they are all getting the sales that they're you're buying under their name. So whatever you're buying, try and buy through the sales associate and try to just keep using that same person to build up that relationship. And then that takes us to tip number 10. And that is if you live near your boutique, call in regularly. Even if you are not buying anything, if you're just looking for something or you're wanting to basically call in, it's like any relationship. Relationships need to be nurtured. Call in, just call in, say hello. If I'm ever in Dublin city centre, I would not dream of walking past Louis Vuitton without getting in to see my essay. I will normally even text her to tell her when I'm going to be in Dublin to see if she's working. And I would quite often arrange my days to make sure she's there, even just to see her. Now she's lovely, she's the loveliest of person as well as being an SA, and I love going down to see her. But just call in. Call in, be friendly, keep that relationship going, treat that person with respect, ask them how they are, ask them about their life, just, just as you would with a normal person that you're chatting to. And don't be just preoccupied with what they can get for you. Speak to them, call in, and don't be afraid to ask. Don't be afraid to ask about hard to find pieces. Don't be afraid to ask about new lines or sold out things because you think, oh, you know, we're not, I won't be able to get that. Ask. Just ask, it can't hurt the ask. And that is tip number 10. Now, I have a bonus tip. I don't really know if it's a tip, but I'm gonna put it in here anyway. Another thing that I do is that no matter where we go, because I live in Ireland and there is only the one quite small boutique in Dublin, 
wherever we go, I call in to Louis Vuitton and Chanel, no matter where we go. My husband <laughs> has been dragged into Louis Vuitton and Chanel all around the world. And at least, uh, well, before, you know, what's going on in the world at the minute, they gave him champagne. But I call in because you just never know what you're going to see, what might be in that boutique that isn't there. And I'm not saying, I know some people will say, oh, holidays don't have to be about shopping or, you know, you don't need to buy something everywhere you go. I'm not saying you do. I just love going into the store. And because I don't have one around the corner, it's not every day for me and I love going into the store. So everywhere I go in the world, I call in just to see if there's something that we maybe didn't get, get in Dublin or something that I hadn't seen before or something that's new that I would be interested in. And that has worked really well for me. I got, can I see it? Yes. Can you see just at the very top, the pink Louis Vuitton twist with the black and white monochrome? I happened to be in Palma with my friends. We called it to the Louis Vuitton store in Palma. I had no intention of buying anything because I was being good. <laughs> and that little beauty happened to be in there. And they told me at the time there had been a runway show in Spain somewhere and the bag would get sent to them. It's not something they would normally have. But that happened to be there and I jumped on it because I absolutely fell in love with it. And that was because I called in. So if you are somewhere that's, you know, has good boutiques, has more boutiques than what you're used to, I would just call in. Call in and see what they have and you never know what you'll get. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for being here. Thank you for taking the time. I hope you're well. I hope you're safe. Take care and I'll see you again in the next one.